this video, we're going to do the second example on that worksheet. Um, in this example, we have a boat that's being pulled into a dock by a rope. The rope is attached to the bow of the boat and passing through a pulley on the dock that's one meter higher than the bow of the boat. The bow of the boat is just the front of the boat. Um, it says, if the rope is being pulled in at a rate of one meter per second, how fast is the boat approaching the dock when it's eight meters from the dock? So we read that a couple of times, we try to picture what's going on, try to figure out the situation, and the best way to understand it is to just move on to step two. So step two is uh, draw the picture. So here you're going to uh, see my artwork, my talent. There's the water. Here's a boat in the water. And then here's the dock. And the boat um, is being pulled in by a rope. So that red line is the rope. It's attached to the bow of the boat. And it's attached uh, or going through a pulley that's on the dock. Now, um, I want to label things in my picture, but a lot of things in the picture are changing. And I'm first just going to label the things that are not changing. And the only thing really that's not changing is it says that the rope is passing through the pulley, and the pulley is one meter higher than the bow of the boat. So if I draw a little dotted line from the bow of the boat to the dock, that pulley is one meter above that dotted green line. So that's the only thing in the picture that's not really changing other than the size of the boat and the size of the dock. The things that are changing are um, the length of that green dotted line because the boat is approaching the dock so that dotted green line is getting shorter and also the length of rope is decreasing because you're somebody's pulling the boat in, the length of rope is decreasing, the distance between the boat and the dock is decreasing, so those are changing. And we're going to label those, but with variables. So that's step three. We're going to name the variables. So first, I'm going to use x for that distance between the boat and the dock at time t. So it's a function of time. And so I'm going to label that green dotted line x. And then I'm going to use y for the length of the rope at time t. So I'm going to label uh, that red line in my picture y. Okay, Both of those things are shrinking. They're getting smaller. All right, so in step four, we need to write down derivatives. Um, we're, we're given a derivative and we're asked to find a derivative. So we're going to write down exactly which derivatives uh, we're given and what we're asked to find. So we're asked to find dx dt when x is 8 meters. We're asked to find the rate at which the boat is approaching the dock when it's exactly 8 meters from the dock. So that's the derivative of x. x is the distance between the boat and the dock, and so we're taking the rate of change of that distance. And what we're given is dy dt, and that's negative 1 meter per second, because y, the length of rope, is decreasing as a function of time. So it's going to, the derivative is going to be negative. So now, step 5, we need to find a relationship between those quantities y and x. So after you write down the derivatives, then you look at the quantities that you're differentiating. y and x are the two quantities we need to have a relationship between. So we need an equation relating x and y. So we look at the picture and we go, oh, I see a right triangle. So I'm just going to pull out that right triangle. Notice the hypotenuse is y, the base is x, and the height of the right triangle is 1 meter. So we can write down the Pythagorean theorem as our relationship. x squared plus 1 squared equals y squared. So that's the relationship between x and y at any time t. Then we want to get use that to get a relationship between dx dt and dy dt. So let's just differentiate both sides. So that's step 6. On the left we get 2x times dx dt, that's the chain rule, or implicit differentiation, plus the derivative of 1 squared is 0, is equal to 
y dy dt. Again, y is an implicit function of t, so we're using the chain rule or implicit differentiation. So remember, we're looking for dx dt at a particular moment when x is 8 meters. So let's solve this equation for dx dt right now. So solving it for dx dt, we get dx dt equals y over x times dy dt. When we want to find dx dt, well, step 7 is when we plug in, we want to find it when x is 8, right? So we can see we can plug in 8 for x, and dy dt we can plug in negative 1, because it's negative 1 meter per second, but we have a y in there, and what are we going to do with that? Well, remember, we know the relationship between x and y at any time t. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. So at, when x is 8, y is just going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 1. So when x is 8, y is going to be the square root of 65. So we can put that in, and so we get negative square root of 65 over 8. And in our calculator, that's approximately negative 1.01 meter per second. Now this is negative because it's a decreasing function. And this is actually the velocity of the boat. But when we look at the question, the question says, how fast is the boat approaching the dock? Now that's, uh, that means they want speed. So remember to answer the question the way they're phrasing the question. And so in this question, we need the speed. So the boat is approaching the dock at a rate of positive 1.01 meters per second. That's the speed of the boat. All right. I'll see you in the third example when we'll fly a kite.